Here with Hunter College head coach Ray Bello and student athletes Chris Newcomb and Stanley Martinez. Coach, could you just give us an opening statement about today's game? Oof, uh, overwhelming. Um, you know, we played well at times and and not so well at times. And that's the roller coaster we've been facing all year. So, um, you know, they did a great job all season long. They worked hard. You know, just overwhelmed. So. Uh, Chris, talk about that, that second set in 23-20. What, what did you see that didn't go well that, that you guys couldn't uh, execute or capitalize on? Um, I mean, if I remember, we were like ahead by two points. And we had the momentum going. And I think it was just I'm not sure, something like a pass or something went wrong. And then momentum shifted. And it was, it's tough to get it back. Once it goes over the net, it's tough to get the momentum back. And I just, I don't know, it's just tough to uh, put games away when you're like, Trying to get the momentum as well. Coach Mark Lizell, MogballMagazine.com. Uh, I was just wondering, you had 25 errors. You know what the cause was? Um, I, I give credit to Springfield. I mean, you know, you got some good blockers there. Um, they blocked as well. They, they blocked as well today. They, you know, they just, you know, did a good job blocking. Uh, it's nothing that we could have done. I mean, we try to hit off hand. They pick balls up. They play great defense. So, you know, credit goes to Springfield. They play great today. So, uh, Stanley, when you go up against two two middles like that as a setter, and then you know it, it probably puts a lot of pressure on you as a setter to try to make for your middles to make it almost perfect, so they have a chance to, to kind of put it away. How about maybe the, the the challenge you face to almost have to be perfect to put it where they they have, that, they have a shot to. Put it away. Oh, absolutely. That's a, it's really a challenge when you have two big medals like that, and along with they're not only are they big, they're also athletic and they're quick. So it was pretty tough, and that's why in the second set, um, I decided to kind of shoot balls a little quicker and try to free up my outsides, my right side, so they can get a couple of long blocks without that big middle blocker. So it was tough. Coach, was the uh, key when it was 23-23, uh, uh, I think Pelti had a, had a had an ace. Was that a ball that you thought was going to go in or your guys should have gone for it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, those guys had nothing to lose at that point. I mean, down 23-20, uh, he just, you know, chucked it up and jump served it. He served it aggressive. So, and after my timeout, he came out aggressively and served the same ball. So, um, you know, we didn't do a job putting the ball away. You know, so, and they obviously blocked a couple of balls in crucial time. So they came through. We did it. Chris, can you just talk a little bit more about that second set? You finished with 11 kills tonight, and nine of them came in that set. You were really kind of put the team on the back and dictated the pace of, of that set. Can you just kind of talk about what worked in that set that didn't work in the other two? Well, um, <clears throat> we decided that um, the first set was we were running at a slow pace going outside, so blockers were going up and like capping out the block. So I'm, like, I was discussing with Stanley, we were going to play a faster game, shoot the balls out so I could get a chance to beat the block instead of going up and trying to go over or around or whatever from the block. So it was basically that changing the whole dynamic of it, just going quicker and I'm getting more gaps. The block's just jumping up and I'm getting a wide open line. Or they're just staying there and I can hit the cross court. So, it was just like a different pace we ran at that kind of helped us out. So, uh, either of the players talk about the uh, atmosphere here, and did it feel like a road uh, match, or did it feel like a championship match? Oh, it definitely felt like a championship match, especially with that crowd. But they actually, I didn't even feel them. I mean, it was a big crowd, there was a lot of people, but we, even amongst ourselves, we were like, is, is the crowd bothering anyone? And nothing, you know, they kind of actually encouraged us just a, you know, a, a tiny little bit, you know. Of course, we would appreciate to have a crowd that big, but it really didn't matter. I mean, it was, it was okay. It was like nothing. I thought it was fun. I mean, having yeah, a big crowd, yeah. big crowd, no matter if it's going against you or not, it's just like yeah, it just you get a way. crowd going, it feeding makes, off of your, your, your mistakes or yeah. your, uh, your successes, and it's just fun to have a big yeah, crowd and when, playing in a big crowd. When we get fun. something against them, it just makes it feel that much sweeter. So it's awesome. Coach, uh, first year for this event, what has been the experience like? Oh, amazing. Uh, Springfield did a great job of you know making this you know this event tremendous. I mean, the experience that the kids get, 
he ain't never gonna get it like that again. Springfield did a great job of making this special. Yeah. Congratulations on a great season, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.